uh, a very special occasion tonight. The date is Sunday, February 7th, 1988. We're in San Francisco, enjoying the gracious hospitality of Ron and Jan Wren. And the occasion is the weekend of the 54th anniversary of Mom and Dad Coakley. I call them Mom and Dad. Others here at the table call them Grammy and Gramps. We're here gathered, some of us in the family at least, are gathered to, to reminisce a little bit, to uh, dig into our roots, to find out where we came from, and uh, have a little fun, tell some stories on each other. My name is Peter Coakley, for those of you that maybe aren't along yet, grandchildren, great-grandchildren, and so forth. And I'm the first and oldest child of mom and dad. And with me are two of my three children, Kathy here, and Michael. Bobby, unfortunately, isn't with us tonight. He's uh, 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 ski patrolling in Colorado, in uh, Utah, rather, Park City, Utah. But uh, let's uh, see who else is here tonight. I'm Jeannie, so call me Jeanette. I am Catherine and Tom's second eldest. Uh, I have three boys, one of whom is here tonight. That's Peter, and he'll be introduced next, I guess. And Doug and Kirk are not here tonight. Doug is traveling, and Kirk is working. I'm uh, Peter Stewart, Jeanette's son, and uh, Tom, Catherine's grandson. And uh, as my mom mentioned, my brothers aren't here tonight. I'm uh, Michael Coakley, um, Peter's first son. Uh, he's in my grandparents, Grammy and Gramps, as I call them. Uh, the eldest of, I guess, the uh, eldest the next grandson. Eldest. Next, oh, the eldest grandson, right? right. Um, That's right. Happy to be here. This is Kathy. We're missing Bobby in our immediate family here. Uh, we're missing a lot of people, I guess. But, yes, we are. And I'm Kathy. I'm Dad's eldest child and daughter, and I'm Grammy and Gramps' eldest grandchild and... Grand First grandchild. First. 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 <laughs> eldest. <laughs> Whatever. I'm at the top. <laughs> Before we ask uh, questions of uh, Mom and Dad, Tom and Catherine, I think we need to uh, introduce those that aren't here tonight, uh, the direct uh, children of, of, of Mom and Dad. Uh, Molly, the third oldest in our family of four kids, uh, married to Buck Hoyle, uh, parents of three children, are in Colorado. Couldn't make it tonight. Uh, our other uh, sibling is, is Joey, the youngest, who is now uh, about uh, 41 or 2 years old, married to Kathy, and they are living in Hanford, California. Parents of five little children with a sixth on the way, we understand. And uh, the reason they're not here tonight is because it probably would take a logistical genius to uh, move that tribe across the Central Valley of California for an evening like this, similar to, uh, I think, an Army field commander moving a battalion across Europe during World War II. So they're not here. Anyway, uh, we want to uh, find out where we all came from. Okay. <laughs> um, let's go back. And, and find out, Dad, for, for example, you, your parents came from where to where, the mother and the father. How did they, where did I'm they go? To, go back before that, my, my uh, I'm Tom Copley, the proud father of some of these great kids here. Uh, <clears throat> my, uh, my father's parents uh, were born in Ireland, raised in Ireland. My dad was raised in Ireland in County Cork, in the what we would call sort of the sub-county of Skibbereen, in a at a place called Drumore, in a in a home with dirt floors. All the cooking was done in an open hearth, nothing but this big open hearth. We were there ten or fifteen years ago. We visited that home, still had dirt floors, still still that kind of a place. Uh, anyway, that was my my father's, where my father was born, in County Cork. He and my and there were ranchers, small ranchers. He and my uncle Michael came to this country when they were teenagers and settled in Oakland. I guess the reason he never told me, but in Ireland to this day, they have what they call a primogenitor. The 
oldest, it's either a law or a tradition, but if it's just a tradition, it's as strong as a law. The oldest son gets the home place and the ranch. And the rest of the brood have to go out and do what they can to make a living. They have two ranches. The next one gets the second ranch. But in this case, my, my father's older brother got the ranch. So they came, my uncle and my father came to Oakland with the help, apparently, of, a, of an aunt I loved. I knew her so well, just loved her who put up the money to bring them over. They went into, into a butcher business in Oakland uh, for the leading butcher shop at that time, Sampson's, and they became butchers. Soon they opened their own market. It wasn't very many years before they had the, the biggest uh, and most successful market in the in East Bay, if not in the whole Bay area. Things you don't see today, eight or nine butchers, delivery guys, and so on. Uh, <clears throat> That was my father's side. My mother's side, her parents were, her mother was Mary Norton, her father was Patrick Curley. They came from Galway. <clears throat> I don't know whether they met in Boston or San Francisco, but they both were in Boston for a while, and then came to San Francisco, met, and married. I have one interesting story of, uh, of my grandfather, Patrick Curley, whom I did not know. <clears throat> Because it, I tied in a little bit. During the, he was here before the, at the time of the gold rush, uh, and he was working at the palace hotel, at a rooming house, which was then the palace, what was on the site of the present palace hotel. It was a rooming house in those days, and the woman Patrick was the man Friday. He did everything for the for woman who was a proprietor, and and he decided to take off for the gold fields. And she begged him not to go. She said, Patrick, you'll go up there and you'll break your heart. You won't make any money or you'll meet the wrong people, etc. Please stay with me. And if you do, I will give you an interest. I own this property and I will give you an interest in, in this hotel, in this corner lot. And Patrick went off to the gold field and lost his opportunity <laughs> <laughs> to become the owner of the Palace Hotel. Now let me see. This. Oh, then. So anyway, my dad, my dad was here. And my, my, my mother was born of Patrick Curley and Mary Curley, and uh, who had settled in San Francisco. And uh, my mother went to Girls High in San Francisco, which was a very nice high school in those days. I don't know about the rest of them. She had three sisters and one brother. Uh, my dad and my mother married in 1895. My mother was 22. My dad was 25. And they produced four children. Uh, older brother who became district attorney at Alameda County and the district attorney, distinguished district attorney for many years. All right, the sister Anne, we call her Saint Anne, never had any children, but she was a dear that just loved kids and our kids particularly. And then, uh, who else? Five, my sister five Alice. children. Five my children. Sister, my sister Alice. Mm -hmm. Anne, Anne, Frank, Oh, and my Father brother Joe. Joe. And Frank. My brother Joe became a priest. That's right. So that takes care of us. What were your parents' names? <clears throat> James and Emma Coakley. <coughs> Jeremy, about two years ago, you mentioned that you were a third generation San Franciscan, is that right? Right. That's Dad right. is a, then a fourth generation San Franciscan. Does that sound right? Yes, yes. And had I been born in San Francisco, I would have been a fifth generation right. San Franciscan. Right, right. Uh -huh. Can you go back and, and tell us what your grandparents, where they came from and how that all evolved? I will certainly try. I hope I haven't lost a generation here, but I'll work on it. <laughs> uh, assuming I'm the third generation, is that what you said? That's what I understood. Yes. I may be wrong. All right, so my mother was <coughs> the, the second, right? And my grandmother was the, the, the original one. Okay, so my grandparents, my grandparents would have been originally, because they both came from other parts of the country. But they both were married in San Francisco, so that would make them the first part of my family to be in San Francisco. Okay, my grandmother came from, my grandmother Langley, now don't tell me I'm going to forget where she came from. I am. Sorry. You'll remember a little later. I'll remember later, okay. She, she was part of the Mississippi clan. No, no, that was my grandfather. I, I remember much more about my grandfather. I was totally devoted to my precious grandfather, Kirkham Wright. 
so I remember everything about him. Just ask me anything. My grandmother, I don't remember. She was a little severe and a little straight-laced and not as confidential and not as uh, open. Well, this is on which side of your, your mother's Well, I'm always talking my mother's side. Isn't that All funny? Because right. I didn't know my father's side that All right. My father's side, they were military people and very reserved and and much, and my darling father was very much the macho father and the disciplinarian and the difficult one. It was, so I really didn't know them that well, which is too bad, too bad. But anyway, this precious grandfather, am I talking too much? No, you're not. <laughs> your mother, on your mother's father, side. Your mother's father. <laughs> your grandfather on your mother's side. <laughs> right. My grandfather, right. Shall I go on, or is that yes, just going on? Yes, we want to know. Yeah, about All right. Kirkham Wright. And about Kirkham Wright. Story, and I'd love All right. to hear that. He, he, he was absolutely, next to my beloved here, the most precious man I ever knew. Because he was a total gentleman. He was warm and loving and intimate and, and just everything you'd want a man to be. He was just beautiful, really a beautiful man. Back one before the other story is. Okay, so his, he came from the Deep South from a very aristocratic type of family where he was raised on a, on a, he was raised with darkies in quotes, and they weren't called in darkies in quotes, they were called darkies, period. On a plantation. On a plantation. So his closest friend was a darkie. His, but, but the darkie was, was his boss, I mean, he was the boss of the darkie, but they were, they were pals. Um, my grandfather was, was the fourth child of Thomas Wright, and believe it or not, he was the fourth son by three, four other different parents. The father married the first one and had a child, and she died in childbirth. The second one had another child and died in childbirth. The third one had another child and died in childbirth, and then my dear grandfather was born, died in childbirth. So there you are. So he was the littlest of all. So he was raised by his sister, who was like a mother to him, of course, because she was a different generation. Okay, is that enough? No. Uh, now, my name's Jan. I'm the mother of Kathy and Michael and Bobby Copley, who's absent tonight. I'm curious to know how Kirkham Wright got to San Francisco. Before marriage, definitely. Before marriage, yes. yes. He met his And he met his wife in San Francisco, that's right. Oh. But they both were from the East. You see, he was from Essex County in Mississippi, and she was from, she was a Langley family from Connecticut. Oh, dear. Well, is that where Gabby traces her rights back to the neighborhood? Right, that's right. That's, that's right. that side, isn't that's it? That's right, that's right. I always get them all mixed up, isn't that awful? Because there's so many of them. But anyway, uh, the same. but it, they met. They met in San Francisco. They met married there, and I don't know much about their romance, which is too bad. But or what brought him here? Or what brought him here? But she was here because her family were involved in. You'll be interested in this because it's a. She was a Langley, and there you wouldn't remember, but there was a very famous pharmacist organization called Langley and Michaels, and that was her family. But, uh, but then it ultimately became McKesson Robbins, and now it's, uh, what is it now? McKesson. It's McKesson, McKesson. Okay, so that's, that's her side of the family. Any more? That story, too. Okay, I was wondering, Kirkham Wright came out uh, from Mississippi. Mississippi, East Coast. Okay, he came out uh, and wound up at Moss Landing, Monterey County, as a whaler. Right. Why? What, what brings him here? It's not well, an ad in the paper. It's not, a, it's not <laughs> with the, uh, any no. kind of... It's not a gold bring him out. Him well, well, there was a famous General Kirkham who was an uncle, uncle of my Kirkham Wright. That was not my Kirkham, but anyway, it's oh. definitely part of the family. All right, and the, the Moss Landing angle is, is um, because his business was in San Francisco, but he uh, was involved with many things. In fact, he got into a terrible fracas with some other men that he was trying to befriend because he was always such a gentleman. And he ended up as a total sucker and he had to pay this horrendous debt. He spent the rest of his life trying to pay off this tremendous debt. This is your grandfather. My grandfather, but part of it was uh, he was 
the Moss Landing deal was part of that, trying to catch up with his financial involvement. So he was in Moss Landing with this with this whaling company, and it was a it was very much of a going company, and they were killing whales off the coast, which of course today we don't approve of, but it was very much of a going business then, and. Uh, that's all there is to it. <laughs> Except I don't think it was successful. So my poor grandfather was left, you know, holding the sack again with these horrendous debts. That I remember well. There's a street here in San Francisco. Was it named after your grandfather? No. It was named after General Kirkham, who was the uncle of my, my Kirkham Wright. But was he a San Francisco? So it goes back another generation. It still. must have, yes. Um, my Kirkham Wright was in Mississippi at the time of the Civil War, and he was, he would have been, if he'd been old enough, but he wasn't, he would have been in the Civil War fighting the, the Northerners, you see. But at the time that he was in California, he said, no way, he said, my sympathies were with the North. I think because of that dreadful incident of the poor little black slave being beaten, to, not to death, but he was badly beaten. Did I tell you that? Was yeah, that? No, you told that, that. I told you that. Was that his friend? He, this this was a little darky in quotes that he was raised with because it, it, he was the boss of the darky but they were great pals and and they did some silly thing like stole a watermelon or something dumb and the, my grandfather got off scot free and the poor little darky boy was beaten unmercifully he lived I don't mean he was beaten to death 